Hi everyone, let's continue Atlas TI. Today we will understand interface of Atlas TI. So this was the interface I had already explained you in my previous video, how you can download and how you can run. A moment we will open this interface. You can see here Atlas TI quick tour, Atlas TI user manual, sample projects, video tutorials, Atlas TI Academy and Atlas TI website. So first we will understand Atlas TI quick tour. So in this quick tour, you can just go through this and you would understand what is, uh, how we are going to create a new project. A moment I had click here, how you are going to create a new project. It is well explained over here, how you are going to create a new project. And I would explain to you one by one all these things. Supported file formats. What kind of files it is supported? I mean, those files we can run in Atlas TI. So these are the file formats, MS Word, Open Office, Hypertext Markup Language, means HTML file, plain text and other kind of files can be easily, that would be supported. Transcripts, PDF files, right? PDF files, text as well as graphics. And PDF with annotations, all these things and the proper way it is explained how we are going for coding and all. And uh, further is uh, you can see how we can go for word documents with comments. And <clears throat> you can see uh, uh, these are the PDF files with bookmarks. So images, audio and video documents, right? Those files has been supported. M4A, MP3, M4, right? So all these files, those are uh, file formats are supported. And uh, here is geo documents, social network comments. So, social network comments means we are talking about like uh, uh, you have social networks on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, VK, Twitch, Discord. So all these uh, social network comments you can run. Survey data, reference manager data, right? Reference manager generally those people are doing research and uh, uh, literature review they would like to run. So like um, uh, those files, reference manager files means EndNote files, XML file and Mendeley, Zotero, right? So all these files you can run over here. Evernote, right? So this is the supported file format. You can just go through this. Adding documents, how we can add a document in this project. So I would explain you uh, how you can add a file, how you can add a folder. Here is importing an existing project. How we can import any existing project that you are running or you had you want to open on your screen. So how you can call that project, import your project, project cloud store, storage, well-defined, right? It is and uh, further is uh, project backup, right? Uh, creating a project backup, how we are going to, because our project bundle file serves an external backup of your project independent of the Atlas TI installation of your computer. Then the working with groups, right? Because number of the people, they can work on a single project. So uh, means you can combine groups using Boolean operators, like how you are going to use Boolean operators. So you can see exploring coded data and you can save a combination of the groups for further reuse in the form of smart group, as well as you can set groups as global filter. Further is working with the quotations. You can work, um, I mean, how we are going to create some quotations. I would, uh, I will show you in my coming up videos. And coding data, basic concepts right here, how we can code all these data. So we would understand creating and apply codes, right? How we will create and apply these codes, right? We would uh, understand each and everything. And uh, working with the codes, how we can run this, how we can use these codes for our analysis purpose. And uh, now you can see, uh, and number of things, creating categories and supports, how we are going to create categories and further is the codes, then their subcodes. Let's say some words, they are reflecting happiness. Some words, they are reflecting uh, set. 
right because that is the some some words are uh, reflecting emotions so all these things are uh, reflecting over here auto code how we can generate auto codes also retrieving coded data how we going to retrieve this data merging codes and there was the splitting codes right uh, how we can split these codes tips for building a code system right we would understand and creating a code book working with memos and comments and further data analysis now when i i'm going to click because querying a data how we can handle all these queries so uh, this one is the code document table and then there is the co-occurrence analysis everything is available over here and query tool and working with the networks yes that's the most important we require because work with the network so these kind of uh, nodes and links you can create with the help of HSTI and uh, creating a new network. Uh, yes, of course, uh, we would, we would, I would show you how you are going to create because this is the code C, code A, code B and code D. So now how that would be um, uh, coding, uh, um, networking of this particular coding. And uh, further is linking nodes. Now you can see how we can link all these codes because uh, we have created uh, these codes. So we can, with the help of all these are Boolean operators. So with the help of Boolean operators, we can link them, right? And finally, we are going to create a report. So we will create a report from the quotation reader, from the query tool and all these things. And uh, at last, uh, there is the appendix, right? So whatever is the uh, system requirement and all these things, then you can just go through it. System requirements and all. I mean, what kind of system you require and all those tutorials, etc. So I hope uh, this thing would be helpful to you. And uh, further is we will go for uh, some such kind of uh, in the in the, in the coming up video we would understand how we are going to import data, how we can upload our text file, how we can upload a um, picture, how we can upload uh, other various kind of supported data. So uh, you would understand in the next video and we will continue, right? So thank you, stay tuned and keep watching.